We just picked up the trailer because we are going to LMC Meets Up for Tessa. And uh, for those that don't know, Tessa's house, her uh, house that she lives at with her grandma and grandpa, or at least her grandmother, I'll confirm this story with her, um, had a fire on Sunday night, I believe. It was maybe Saturday night last week. And uh, the fine people of Lloydminster, yes, you of Lloydminster, have been extremely generous. And uh, they've uh, come together for these people in need. And I like Lloydminster usually does when the family is in need, they help out. Lloydminster Motor Club, Tessa is a part of. And uh, so we are putting on a bit of a car show. It is October. God, 26th? This is the latest car show I've ever been to. It's the first car show I've been to in October, and it's cold. It is currently minus six, and there is a bit of wind. But we're gonna try and get all three vehicles there, and I think it's gonna be a pretty unique setup. So stay tuned, please like, subscribe for more content like this. I'm really hoping to get involved in the community more as we keep going. Uh, stick around guys, it's gonna be a wild ride today. Well, now we're in the Jeep. I'm not cleaning the interior of the Jeep at all. Uh, we're just getting everything ready. I'm gonna run the Jeep down to Silverwood as well as the Drexus at the same time. The Rexus definitely needs a little bit of panhard adjustment. Uh, the rear axle probably is over to the passenger by about an inch. So that's where raising my pan hard bar is gonna make a big difference, guys. So stay tuned. We're gonna do a video on making that bracket or buying that bracket. I haven't quite decided what I wanna do yet. To be honest, it's like $360 US. Well, it's gonna be like 500 bucks plus customs and I think I can make it for about $50 of metal and learn a lot more. Hey everybody, Randy from the Lloydminster Motor Club. Uh, we are down at Silverwood Detail and Protection Center, our usual little hangout spot here. We are raising much. <laughs> we are raising money for... <laughs> 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 raising um, money and donations for uh, Tessa. I don't know if you heard, uh, earlier this week, house was brought down by a fire, unfortunately. Uh, so we are trying our best to uh, help alleviate some of the stress. So we've got one full truck already. We've got uh, some other stuff going on here. We got, uh, what the heck we got going on here? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Pastries, oh. We got some other clothing, some essentials here. Uh, we're also selling LMC lanyards for five bucks. Everything raised from that goes towards uh, the family. I've got some stuff that we're going to be raffling off here. Raffle tickets are going to be a dollar a piece. Uh, I've also bought some pizza, but no guarantees it'll all be here when you get down here. We got uh, some people staying warm underneath the. Uh... Oh, one second. I wonder, can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in! <laughs> But yeah, no, come on down to uh, Silverwood Detail and Protection Center right on 50th, right across from Olmershev, and uh, come help us. Uh, <laughs> come help us help uh, out some families. And, uh, I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back 
tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted, the phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems, I solve them I run through the money, the press will be calling, left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted, the phone and affection, I summon and dub it About nothing, why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing. I see that we different, you riding, I double my don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust you. I talked to a shorty, she bagging the bucket. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I did be the buy. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the vibe. I can't be mixy when if he the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why are you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kick to the side, I don't know if you. Thinking I'm blind, cross on my crosses and dead on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing, I know I've been missing I needed some personal time F*** all the pictures, the mentions, I know with your digits I mean it, I'm staying in shock So problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, I'm problems, I solve them I run through the money, the press will be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause check got problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, so problems I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub, dub, dub Hey guys, welcome back. We're at the LMC meetup for Tessa here. We uh, were just informed of uh, three gentlemen that were actually uh, considered the lifesavers, the heroes, whatever so you want to seek. So we're going to introduce them and then do a little bit of uh, hey what happened and uh, give them a little bit of a shout out. Hi, I'm Chris, uh, Chris Janner. Uh, Zach Goldstead. James Arietta. Uh, so, the night of the fire, we, uh, we were coming back and picking up James, and uh, we saw the house was on fire, and uh, we kind of parked, we parked the car, and uh, went towards the fire, and uh, tried to see if anybody was outside, if anybody got out, and then, um, we saw the neighbors come around saying knock on the door, like knock on the windows and everything, make sure if they're awake or not, if anybody's out there. So we all did that. Uh, uh, Zach and I went around to the side of the house. Uh, James went to the door. Uh, so uh, we got to the side of the house and we knocked on all the windows and I think it was Tessa that woke up and she's like, what are you doing? Right? She didn't know what was going on. And we were like, your house is on fire, you need to get out, right? We, you gotta get out. And so James was waiting for them to, at the front door, help them out there. Um, and that's, that's all I got. Any of you guys got anything? Your size? Well, we were told to knock on all of the doors, the windows, try to wake them up. They got that done. I went over to check the door. Uh, I didn't check to see if it was open the first time. I walked back and then walked back to the door and then I opened the door. And, um, yeah, then I went inside just to the porch and to the other door and then by then they were already woken up and I was just helping them out, getting them out and yeah, thank God we were there.
But you know what, guys? You guys did a great job. Do you want to stand under the heat and uh, keep up the good work? Yeah. Thank you. you never know when you're going to be needed, guys. These three guys helped out substantially. It could have been a total different story if they hadn't have been there when they were there. <laughs> so we're here with Randy Marsh from uh, Lloydminster Motor Hi. Club. Yeah, once had a hashtag called Marsh for Mayor. Bad idea. It was. It was once a pretty good epic little conclusion. Oh god. Buddy of mine made me this shortly after that hashtag came about. And I said, why couldn't we put Lloyd Minster on there? <laughs> so, one thing guys, Randy Marsh is his real name. Yep. It is not just a meme. Nope. His please, name is Randy Marsh. Please so stop reporting my Facebook page. I was going to say, do not report his name as being fake. Actually, maybe let's start that again and get his middle name back. No, no. I had to run with my middle name on my Facebook page for three months. It was the worst three months ever because my initials spell Ram, and I'm sure you can figure out where that goes. <laughs> Bad times all around for me. So anyways, uh, why don't you give us a little bit of a rundown on uh, Lloyd Minster Motor Club, Lakeland Motor Club, what the foundations of the club are, because I think a lot of people get confused of exclusivity-based car clubs and yeah. car community. And that's the thing, is the motor club, we started out as a motor club, like motor enthusiasts and stuff like that, and then I had somebody come up to me and they tell told me you're not really a car club or something like and I started thinking about it I'm like no we actually we really aren't because we do a lot of community events we've done fundraisers for Tanner Graff's family we've done fundraisers for Big Brothers Big Sisters um, the youth center the ghost Christmas wish stuff like that we're we're a community club with a car and a truck addiction essentially <laughs> Like it's it's you're yeah. it's that's pretty much the easiest way of putting it down is where you were your community club Yeah Just a community club with a car and truck addiction So I think that should kind of settle a little bit of an argument between people and the ideology behind it Yeah, and like it, I, I've had people come up to me and like they want all brand specific and stuff like that or they want uh, truck specific, car specific, stuff like that. And yeah, like we do have a little bit of that within the club itself, but when you get into events like this, there's cars, trucks. We, I, I brought three you, different trucks. You bought types. three different trucks, yeah. Like it's, it's not about the vehicle, it's about helping the community and doing better for the community. Making an example. So, I figured guys, I'd introduce Randy, and you can see Rob in the background getting in his truck. And, Hi, Rob. <laughs> this was all his idea too, this, by the way. This was this Rob's, was all this was by him. Rob's idea, and that's the one thing too, like, because I'm going to be stepping down from the club over the next couple years, and I just want to show that this club can still do community events like this, no matter who's in charge. So, needless to say, guys, we had a very successful day, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Uh, we got couches, we've got tables, we've got clothing, we've got food, we've got. People freezing their ass off. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, this is like. We got drag race teams. Yeah, we had a drag race. Our first legal drag Posted race. Posted on my TikTok. <laughs> Here it is. Link, link to her TikTok below. <laughs> um, so like, like guys, like, like I've tried to explain to a few people over the summer. It's not a boat. Individuals. It's a boat. A community and yeah. and and trying to grasp at that. We're not we're not singling anybody. We want everybody to join. Is what it is. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you like, please make me a like, subscribe, and most of all, please come back. <laughs> please come back. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs>
that you're gone Cause you need to be alone Away from my chemistry I just hope you'll end up Not with a mental lie As I'm counting all the days Till you come around Or will you come around? Will you come around? Oh, believe me, we're the good ones Sorry for 